Okay, we'll get started. Uh, as I said, uh, this is the weekly impact briefing for Central North Carolina. This covers uh, the upcoming week, um, December the 5th through the 12th, 2016. My name is Barrett Smith, uh, forecaster here at the National Weather Service. <clears throat> and just to start off, uh, giving you an idea of uh, the radar imagery around the uh, southeast right now, uh, many of you probably woke up to uh, a little bit of light rain early this morning. That has since moved out of uh, our area. And we're in a little bit of a lull between that area of precipitation and some rain that's back over the lower Mississippi Valley, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi area. And uh, in between those, uh, and I got a satellite imagery here in the bottom right, you can see we've um, actually had some nice breaks in the clouds. And uh, looking out the window past the computer here, I can see quite a bit of sunshine. So it's going to turn out to be a nice day today. We're looking at highs in the, uh, the mid-50s this afternoon. Uh, if you're curious about how much rain fell over the last 24 hours, uh, you know, it was a, a damp and dreary day on Sunday, and that rain continued into the overnight. Uh, pretty much saw anywhere from a half an inch to, uh, to upwards of um, an inch to an inch and a quarter. I believe I saw one report in the Clinton area that was over an inch uh, this morning. So uh, a very nice and needed slow rainfall um, to help us out with our drought and hopefully some, uh, some major help to the, uh, the fires out west. Here's a look at the, uh, our surface analysis this morning uh, just to give you some ideas of the features. And we've got a stationary front uh, along the southeast coast, and that extends back into the western Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the one area of low pressure associated with our rain from last night uh, will be moving off the Carolina coast this morning. And a second uh, low pressure area is going to uh, move up uh, across the southeast states and uh, then off the Carolina coast uh, later tonight and uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. Here's a look at the uh, what we expect uh, for our systems during the upcoming week. And again, I mentioned early this week the system in the Gulf is uh, going to move across the southeast U.S. Uh, tonight, going to bring us rain starting uh, sometime uh, just prior to maybe midnight tonight coming from the south and then moving up across the area during the overnight hours and likely out of here by midday, early afternoon on Tuesday. Uh, behind that system on Wednesday, it will actually be... Uh, relatively fair, maybe a few clouds around, highs in the mid-50s. Uh, but then you can see uh, by midweek and late week, we've got a strong cold front um, that's going to approach from the northwest. I think this depiction right here might be a tad too fast, and this front's likely to, uh, to cross our area late Wednesday night or early Thursday. That cold front's going to bring some brisk winds behind it, uh, and bring our coldest temperatures of the, uh, the, the I guess it's still fall, but of the season. Um, Friday, highs are likely to be just in the upper 30s to low 40s. Wind chills Friday morning uh, will likely be down in the teens. And then Friday night, uh, Saturday morning, uh, we're likely going to see overnight uh, lows down in the teens and lower 20s uh, pretty much area-wide. So again, likely going to be the coldest uh, temperatures that we've seen um, as we head into the winter season. Uh, we always show our thunderstorm uh, potential. Uh, none today, of course, with uh, with the sun out. Um, then looking at overnight tonight with our system that's going to cross the area, maybe a small chance uh, of a lightning strike or two. None of this will be strong or severe and cause us any hazards. Um, but I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if there's a, a couple lightning strikes down in the southeastern part of North Carolina. After today, things look uh, relatively quiet. Here's a rainfall forecast for the next seven days, and this is going to be dominated very much by the rainfall that we're expecting tonight. Uh, we could see anywhere again from uh, three quarters of an inch to maybe an, an inch and a quarter overnight tonight. Um, and uh, again, that in addition to the inch we saw last night is very, very uh, uh, much needed. And um, so that dominates the seven-day rainfall totals. After today, we're likely not to see uh, anything at all through the seven days. And then our outlook uh, out to a couple weeks really um, is relatively uh, uneventful. Um, we're looking at uh, uh, just average chances of, of, of normal temperatures and uh, a little above average rainfall. But again, none of this uh, indicates any strong signals of any um, uh, significant cold air outbreaks or, or, or unusually warm temperatures uh, two weeks out um, or dry or wet. 
So to summarize, um, again, uh, we had the rain moving out this morning. Um, be a nice day today. Uh, another low pressure is going to cross the area uh, tonight, and that could bring us another inch of rainfall. Um, through Tuesday morning, again, we should be clearing out by, uh, by midday on Tuesday. Uh, we get a really strong cold front uh, on Thursday. Not expecting any um, any precipitation with that. If we do, it'll be very very light. Maybe some sprinkles. Big thing is going to be the cold wind chills uh, down in the teens Friday morning. Um, highs barely getting out of the 30s to low 40s on Friday, and again uh, those uh, low temperatures on Saturday morning uh, will be down in the teens and lower 20s. <laughs> And I want to show one thing uh, here just to follow up, uh, and, and this will be, of course, emailed out to everyone, but I uh, wanted to bring to everyone's attention, if you hadn't heard, uh, there are two weather ready, readiness workshops uh, occurring next week. Uh, the first one is on Monday. That's uh, here in Raleigh. That's uh, the Triangle Workshop. It's at the North Carolina State Emergency Operations Center uh, Joint Forces Headquarters. That's over, I think, near the PNC Arena. And um, then the second one is in the triad, and that will be at the Forsyth Medical Center Conference uh, Center. And both of those are 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, this is uh, where we kind of get together uh, with our partners. Uh, we talk about the, uh, the, the past winter season. Uh, we're going to talk about some of our new um, uh, probabilistic uh, forecast of snowfall. And, uh, and then I think there's even a, um, an opportunity for folks to build their own briefing, and that will give uh, you a chance to, um, to give us feedback, maybe tell us what you want in a briefing, what you don't like, where we do good, uh, where we do poorly. So um, a good opportunity there uh, for anyone who can make it. If you do uh, want to register and attend that, um, there's a Google form uh, that's at the bottom right here. Again, this will be emailed out to you later on, or you can contact us anytime um, if you need that link or uh, have any questions. So uh, I'll open it up for just a minute or two to see if um, you guys have any questions. Okay, seeing no questions, uh, thank you everyone for your uh, attendance uh, today, and uh, as always, just let us know if we can be of any help to you. Have a good week.